Hi, this is William. Welcome to Flyspoke. Today I'm going to tie a John Olin. And John Olin, the late John Olin, was an Atlantic Salmon Federation president, and he fished extensively on the Grand Cascopedia River where this fly was created. And um, it's worked really well for me on uh, uh, most of the rivers on the Gas Bay. I'm going to start with a Bob Viverka hook. It is made by Daiichi. It's a 2131 size 6 upturned salmon. And just going to start with laying a base. Coat. Okay, first item that's going to go in is some Uni French Gold Twist. Now I'm going to put this in so that it's running along the side because of that return eye I'm gonna fill in the space of the return eye with the tinsel and I'm gonna run that right along the side and that evens out the thickness of the body for me and then I'm just gonna run my thread back Nice, going to give myself a nice even base. And I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to put on my twist. Four or five wraps are plenty. I'm just going to let that twist now hang there because that's going to be my rib. And I'll just let it and I'll just let it sit. Okay, next item. I'm going to take a small piece of black ostrich hurl. Tie it in by the tip. I don't want it to be too large. That's going to go over the over the French twist. And I'm just going to be creating a butt. All right, just go back. Next, take golden pheasant crest, and I'm going to take a small, rather one of the smaller sized feathers. Okay, the back of the crest curve should be about equal with the curve of the hook itself. And that's just for fisherman appearance. Okay, got that on. And now I'm just going to take that. Okay, now I'll just trim these and neaten them up. All right, advance my thread to the front. The next item I'm going to use is this um, holographic tinsel, gold. It's the wide variety. And I'm going to put that piece in in the front. Slide it to the bottom and secure it down. Move the thread. And now I want to give myself a really even, slightly overlapping body of holographic. Now you don't have to use the holographic, of course. You can use regular tinsel if you don't want it to sparkle as much. And now I've secured over it. Now because this holographic 
is not the strongest stuff after you get into a few te a few uh, fish their teeth tend to rip it up we counter the rib the opposite way now, sometimes I'll even lacquer the underside of this I'll take some head cement and just run a, a thin thin line of it on the underside and that helps hold down the holographic as well all right next item I'm gonna take a saddle hackle I'm gonna take the tip of the saddle hackle and I'm gonna pull back what's around the tip and then take that off bring it back so that I have nice and even measure where I want it about to the front edge of the black hurl grab the whole thing trim it and then I'm going to tie that in Okay, so that's the throat. All right, next, black fox. This is a black fox tail. And you can use um, arctic fox. You can use uh, squirrel tail. Any nice flowing, something on the softer side, wing material. Okay, it's about the length of this is about the length to the where the hook bends and I'm going to put this in in two stages I'm going to cut my thread through and grab the bottom amount and I'm going to go over the top alright now we're going to take some uh, jungle cock nails and for Atlantic salmon flies I don't want them to be too big I pick a matching pair and I lay them exactly together, tips to tips, tip on tip, and clean them at the same time. Make them so that the tie-in point is going to be in exactly the same place, left and right. I'm just going to tie them in parallel with the with the wing. They're pre-trimmed. That gives you a uh, easy way to determine that they're going to be equidistant. Finishes on it, and with all my working salmon flies, three or four coats of head some. Let them thoroughly dry. There it is, John Owen.